the lovely Angelina Murphy today and we're learning to sew a dress. Hi. I am so excited. If you guys remember, um, I had a few videos ago and I was saying that I really wanted to learn to make a dress this year. It's like all my thing of like my to do for 2017. So Angeline has volunteered to teach me and I'm so excited. If you don't know Angeline, you should. Introduce yourself, lady. Hi everyone, I'm Angeline. Uh, I was on the Great British Sewing Bay last year. I love to make dresses, absolutely love making dresses. And when I seen Catherine's message, I was saying that this was, she was on a mission this year to make a dress, I thought, right, yeah. we need to team up Gotta and we need to it. get this done. And me and Angeline, actually, we met last year at, um, we were doing the knitting and stitching. Mm -hmm. um, Angeline held a workshop and I was at it. And that's how we actually met. So yeah, we've just been in contact ever since we thought we'd make a really fun video to learn to sew a dress and I'm so excited. It's going to be great. Yeah, I make a lot of dresses yeah. for weddings, um, wedding guest dresses, bridesmaids dresses. So it, yeah, I love dresses, so all things dresses. And me too. You know I love my dresses anyway. <laughs> and so today we're going to just document the day of how we put together and make a dress. Um, we'll talk to you what pattern we're going to use, how we're going to fit it. I am a complete complete beginner. I've never even looked at a dress pattern. Um, I think I watched one video mm. on how to read a pattern. It was a disaster. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think people sometimes, Catherine, sometimes people like just get so scared yeah. and it's so daunting and patterns have a lot of jargon as well. Yeah. So once you sort of like break it all down, you know a few of the terms, the language, you'd yeah. be grand, you'll fly through it. You know what, I can stitch a cushion, I can stitch a dress. <laughs> exactly, oh, even fast. So yeah, we're gonna get straight into the video and um, do comment below, make sure you go and check out Angelina and all her, I'll leave all her handles and stuff below, um, like your Facebook and Instagram, so you can go give Angelina a follow. I love watching what she makes. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Yeah. Okay, so this is the pattern we're going to be using today. So it's Simplicity, I love this shape. I actually sent Angelina a picture of like my favorite kind of dresses and this shape is me all over so if I can learn to make this dress <laughs> I will make a million of them in the set in like different um, patterns so yeah it's simplicity is that the product code there that's two, the product code yes two two four seven so that's the pattern we're going to be using today when you pick up a pattern it's important to look at the back because this is where all your detail is It'll tell you what fabrics, suggest what fabrics like you can use to make this dress. Um, so if you are a novice, it's best to follow these guidelines because you don't want to be working with a really hard fabric. Yeah. Um, and then it'll just make your project so much more difficult and it'll put you off sewing. Yeah. So it's best to sort of go by the guidelines. It'll also tell you what notions you need. So notions basically is the bits and bobs you need to finish off the dress. So you'll need thread, you'll need a 22 inch zipper, you'll need a hook and eye, which is just basically a wee thing that it's a closure for the back and um, now if you're making dress A you'll need buttons dress C you'll need um, frog closures but I think today we're going to make the dress B so this pattern you're able to make three dresses with it oh fab I was just gonna ask that you can make three from the one pattern yeah you can make so you so just cut different panels to cut like different panels. Oh, okay. So basically, that's really you good know, value as well, isn't it's it? It's great, yeah. So three in one. So you can see that maybe just different sleeve length. So it's great that way. Now, what we'll be doing, Catherine, is we'll be taking your measurements very okay. soon. That's where you start off. You need a good measuring tape, um, and you'll need three main vital uh, measuring points: is your bust, your waist, your hip, and for this one, your back, neck, to waist. But I'll explain all that. The first measurement we are going to take is the waist. Okay. So this is here. Now we tip for the waist as well. If people's not sure of where their waist is, you what you do is you just bend over and you'll have a wee flap, a oh. wee skin will flap, <laughs> and that's where your waist is. And everyone, regardless of size, will have that wee skin flap. I yep, have plenty of flapping here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, around here. So just say. around here. So if we just um, take the measuring tape around, tiny wee waist. Now we just mark the size here. So um, do you want me to say the size? Yeah, you can say. <laughs> so good. we have we have a tiny little twenty nine. Woohoo! <laughs> um, see when you measure um, with your obviously there's seam allowance with with the dress. So do yeah. you measure it t not snug? So you were quite 
once it's tight, yes. but not too tight. Not tight, not too tight. Just a wee bit of movement, but yes, you will have a seam allowance, but the seam allowance is included, oh, um, included. on the pattern. Okay, yeah. okay. So you don't need to worry about that. So okay. next we will take the hip. hip. And hip is probably from your widest, yes. is it? Yes, so your hip is sort of more, you know, you have a wee bone here. Yeah. Um, so that'll be your wee hip bone. Okay. Just right here. <laughs> No. So this is kind of like for anyone who's never measured the hip, it feels like it's kind of like upper bum. Maybe? It is upper bum. Upper yeah. bum would be sort of the upper bum, Maria. So we have a 41 inches there. Gail has got hips. <laughs> And the bust, okay. the bust as well. So, so bust, I imagine it's from kind of like not to be rude, but from like nipple. From your nipple, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. And right round the back. So it's it's vital that we get the right measurements at the start, and um, because that's going to form your dress. Cool. So with a 35, 35 inches there. Cool. So just make sure. Yeah, that's fine. Thirty five inches. Cool. So now we look at the pattern and then pick what size we're going to go by then on the pattern. I'm going to show everybody your sewing box because I'm really nosy and I love seeing inside people's sewing boxes. <laughs> I love seeing what like trinkets they have. This is a gorgeous little box. On the floor for this one. So it's now for the technical bit would you say? A bit. We're getting sort of, well quite technical yeah. Um, don't let it put you off though. Okay, we're going to do it. So now we've determined what size we're going to make. And now it's, we're getting down to the nitty gritty so we're going to pick our pattern. Um, or yeah, pick all the pieces now and yeah, I don't know, I'll, yeah. I'll let Angelina. <laughs> to go with dress B, so you see the three dresses here, so dress B, this is the front and this is the back of the dress, we're adding a sleeve so it's B as well. So this is how your dress is going to look. So on this side we have um, all our different pattern pieces and this is what's going to make up your dress. So we're going to cut, uh, we are going to cut a um, B cup for yourself, Catherine. Two. Okay, so this is your pattern, Catherine. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh, so I see, is this all the different sizes here? Yes. So this is our pattern and these are the different sizes and we have a mark on them here. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So this dress goes from 10 to 18. This is number nine, which corresponds to this, the skirt ah. side front. So as I am cutting out the pieces, um, a little tip that I've kind of learned is maybe highlight the numbers. So I need a number six, um, and then here I have a number 12, but I, I'm getting confused with all the numbers, but that's my size, and then that's the number of the pattern, and B for the one I'm making. So yeah, number six, these will be the sizes. Um, so yeah, if it's easier, maybe highlight the numbers you need before you cut, that's a little tip lining up um, all of the pieces of pattern onto my fabric. We just lined it up first to see because I was unsure if we had enough um, fabric but we do. So we've laid like everything out in the direction of what it should and I'm after learning something really big for me which was um, cutting on the fold. So when a pattern has like this symbol here but it will say it up here so cut one on the fold and what that means is where the fabric is folded you place this so then you're just getting one piece so then when you cut that and you open it out then that is your piece and then everything else it will say on it so like um, this one says cut two and then we've just gone in the direction of the grain. So that's what um, the grain line and cutting on the fold means. So basically the direction you place your pattern and then um, this little symbol here, it means cut on the fold, but it will always say it up here as well. So we're gonna talk about notches now, and this is probably one of the technical jargon terms that scared me as a beginner, is like notches and all them kind of things. So Angeline's gonna explain it to us. Notches are basically markings. Basically that's what they are. They're markings so that you can correspond your different pattern pieces together and that's what they do. Um, you'll see these wee arrows here along the side. Now how I mark my arrows is I take my wee scissors and I just do a wee snip. Okay. A wee snip. You don't snip the triangle. 
I don't snip the triangle. Okay. No, you just do a wee snip. Now let me see. Is that a real beginner's thing to say? Yeah. <laughs> and some people actually do, the, do triangle. the triangle out the way, but because this you're just making a little you're making a little snip, and this is going to be within your seam allowance, so you won't see them. We. Oh, okay. Okay. So and there's another wee snip there. So it's a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle. That's what it and is. And your notches are... And your notches. You kind of like, you match up your notches. Exactly. Here. Now, the next thing is, there's also um, notches here. You can see there's three circles. Oh, okay. So they um, correspond, they're corresponding jigsaw pieces as well. So what I do is I take a ballpoint pin. Okay. I stick it through the circle. I actually hold the pin and lift the pattern piece over and I just do a wee mark with, this is what you call tailor's chalk. It's just okay. chalk that rubs off. Um, mark that side and don't forget to mark your other side. So that's your two wee markings. Okay, so we've done all of these little notches and then the circle notches. Yes. Okay, perfect. Notches have come in so we're putting the bodice piece together but notches is like our map because then we match the two notches then together so you can see your two notches are here ah and then so i just put a pin in there and if we didn't have them notches, notches and your notches here oh okay okay now the thing is as well with these notches and then that goes up to there because we um we're creating a curve here yes Okay, so this is where your easing comes in. So we lift it up actually. Because we're you can see that piece of fabric's longer than this. Yeah. So we need to ease. So basically what easing is is just playing, playing with the fabric. Okay. And putting in pins so that this wee larger bit where your boob will go into will fit um around. So there could be a wee bit of playing around with it just to so that's called easing. Yes. And that's because we're on a curve. So that's this is for the boob. Very yeah. important piece. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. So we're just gonna push it all out. And just, it really is working with your fabric. You can see that it actually makes sense. And you can see that it's now like a top panel. And it, it makes sense. I get confused when things are back to front and right sides to I think if the rule is once your right sides are together you can't go wrong can you That's right it. sides together yeah. can't go wrong so now we're going to put it to the machine oh. 5 8 is the seam allowance so I need to make sure I stay there and I'm going to do a reverse stitch thought was a fancy pin cushion that Angelina <laughs> but it's actually not. It's what's it called? It's a tailor's ham. A tailor's ham. Yes and what you use tailor's ham for it's for pressing your seams. So we have a seam on a curve here and you can there's different curves on this. So you basically put your your curve on the tailor's ham and you give it just a good press. So you want to make sure that now what um, you do as well is you may put a like a muslin or a different type of fabric over that oh, okay. and press just in case your fabric melts, um, melts or anything. Okay. So always be very careful when you're putting your arm against your fabric. This is getting real exciting because the dress is actually taking shape. So we're putting the top bodice. So are we making the front and then we'll make the so back? So we're making the front, we're going to make the back, then we're going to fit. <gasps> we're going to fit it and then we'll make the sleeves and then hem and zip and that'll be us. So we have the back stitched now, so we're placing the front and the back together but you can clearly see we've gotten the shape of a dress and I suppose the bones of the dress. Um, so we're putting the back to the front and then we're going to start fitting it to the body. But yep, yeah, that'll be the next point. Fitting it to the body. Yay! As you can see we have the shape of a dress. So I am just pinning here at the back a normal 5 eighths of an inch seam at the back before I take in your sides. 
Yeah. You can see it's starting to take shape now. Like when I go like that with my hand, you can see it's coming in like and it's giving me like I have a shape. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So we are putting the sleeve in. Um which is quite it is kind of hard. I think this is the hardest thing we've done making the dress is getting the sleeve in perfectly. Not that it's hard to actually do, but we have to ease the fabric in. So that's a term I've learned today is easing the fabric. Before we insert the zip, just to make sure that it's the right fit for Catherine. Look at my sleeves. <laughs> the sleeves are in, they're part <laughs> with the sleeve. And we have no puckering on the sleeve. It's like a perfect, like, seam. No, no errors made. I was just saying, we're after making the dress. And we're nearly at the finish and we haven't had one pucker or like m mishap. So yeah, I think we're, we're doing good. We're doing really well. So we just need to insert the zip, the zip and hem. The zip and then the length and then I have a dress. And we'll get down as far as we can. We won't be able to get fully down because of this, this here. Okay, and then that's one side of our zip already in. That's fast. So it's not that, it's not that hard, it's not that daunting. I think once, once you, do, you take your time to pin and you have your zipper foot, then you can't really go too far wrong. I think so. That's okay. your lovely gold zipper. Oh, zip that's fab. Mm -hmm. And then would you just give that a press so it's I nice and flat? I give that a good press so it's flat and that'll stay nicely. Oh, that's fantastic. So we just need to stitch the other side up now. Okay, I'll have a go at this. I think so. <laughs> You know sometimes in a shop when you buy a dress and the zip is quite stiff, what, mm -hmm. what would cause that? Because they have stitched the, um, the stitch too close to the zip okay. and if also if there's bulk in your fabric, you'll always notice there's a certain joint yeah, where your seams are meeting. Yeah. The, yeah, seams all meet, sort of four seams meet in the one area and that's a lot of fabric for your zip to sort of go over. So you'll find it's just a wee bit more difficult. I noticed that with some dresses and it's always the point where it's smallest on you and the zip is just, it's just going up. Yep. And that's just at your waist then. Just doing the length now, we're on like the final home stretch of the dress. Um, which we only really, we don't have to take too much off. It seems to be just two inches. Um, so we've me I've tried it on, we've measured it. And I suppose this is a tip if you're altering your clothes. Um, so I had asked about length because I have to take up the length of my clothes a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so find the length you want and then measure all around with a measuring Just tape. Keep, yeah, so say we're taking two inches here. So what we'll do is we'll go round and take two inches so it's equal the whole way around. Yeah. So you can see I've sort of pinned that two and a half but we need to change it to two. So okay. it's going to be two the whole way around. Two the whole way around. Don't go by eye. It has been a labour of love today, yeah. but I'm absolutely in love with my dress and the fit of it. Look at my sleeves! Um, so we shot a few shots of me in the dress, which I'll like insert for you. Um, but I'm absolutely thrilled. It looks like this morning, fabulous. I started not knowing if I could sew a dress. And tell the truth, me. Did you think you'd finish it? No, I didn't think I'd finish it. Or I think, do you know when you're in like sewing class and like? You have a bit to do and the teacher says, I'll bring it home and finish it at home and you never finish it. I <laughs> have to do I was on a mission to make sure yeah. that you had a dress today. And it's six o'clock now and I'm in a dress. And she's going out tonight. I've got a Saturday night dress on. Yeah. <laughs> As a first time, so, first time you've sewn a dress, 
Yes. What can you take away from it? Okay, since it was my first time, I suppose the big thing I can take away is measuring patience. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, I would be quite lax and want to kind of go by eye or like not want to pin or kind of just throw it under the machine. No, no, no. We followed the pattern. We followed all the seam allowances, the notches, and we had no issues when it came to sewing and fitting. So patience and following the guide. Yeah. And don't be lazy. Don't yeah. be a lazy sewer. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my like biggest yeah. thing. And zips are not as scary as as they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't be afraid to make mistakes as yeah. well. Don't be afraid because everyone makes mistakes, especially yeah. when you're when you're first time I'm still making mistakes. Yeah. So part of learning, isn't it? It is part of learning. So yeah. make a mistake, get the stitch ripper out, go again. Mm -hmm. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do go and check out Angeline's channel and her Facebook and her Instagram. I will leave all her stuff here. She's been so good today to teach me how to sew a dress. Patience mm -hmm. of a saint. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in next week's video. Bye.